Hi, I'm Patrick Mannion and I'm at DesignCon 2016 and I'm joined by Jim Schwartz. Jim Schwartz is from uh, National Instruments and he's going to show off the latest version of the virtual bench. Hi Jim, how hey you Patrick, doing? Patrick, I'm good, I'm good. So uh, today we're showing off the brand new uh, virtual bench. This is a uh, new version of a product that we released two years ago. So this has four channels. It's, a, it's an oscilloscope, uh, DMM generator, logic analyzer, power supply, so it's basically all the benchtop instruments uh, that you would normally see on, a, on an instrumentation bench built into a single device. So this, yeah. the, the device today has 350 megahertz of bandwidth, 1.5 giga samples per second uh, sampling rate, and we bumped up the power supply to, to 3 amps, so it's, it's really kind of uh, fully encompasses a lot of that functionality that you normally see on, on your benchtop instruments. Because it's all-in-one, uh, we can also have an all-in-one interface. So you can see here that we have our oscilloscope interface with both our analog and, and digital channels. We have our function generator, uh, digital multimeter, power supply, and, and digital channels. So we can bring all that together in one user interface. What, uh, what did you add to it from the old, the original virtual bench? So we, we bumped the, up the, the speed of the, the uh, oscilloscope. And from we added from hot to what? So oh, from, from, it was, what, what from 100 megahertz 30 to, mega. to 300 yeah. megahertz and added two channels. And the power consumption and the power, and the power supply was? One amp to three amps. One amp, okay, gotcha, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Any more software features on top of that then? Did you add more? So, okay. so because it's a software-based instrument, we can yeah. push uh, updates to it you know, periodically. We've pushed a couple in the last year, and this is the latest version. Um, so we added some things like uh, some, some new visualizations, so added digital phosphor capabilities. We've added some new triggering capabilities. We can output arbitrary waveforms from, from a file through our function generator. Yeah. Um, so we can do really cool things like record from our oscilloscope, play that same signal back out through our function generator for you know for characterization and testing of your system. Okay. Yes. And so demo we're showing off today, uh, we have a, a, de a device under test board here that is outputting uh, some digital data from the uh, over SPI to these digital to analog converters. So you can think of this as like a, a low-cost data acquisition board. We kind of got our first revision back and we're excited and we powered it up and we're seeing how, how the board looks. Right. right. And so um, you'll see here, you'll notice on the screen that uh, on our red signal here on channel one, we've got something weird going on. So we've got a, we've got a glitch right. going on right here. And so because these instruments are all in one, we can do some really cool things. Namely, we can see digital and analog all in the same same user interface on the same time scale. So if I zoom in on that glitch, zoom in here, we can start to see the digital data that's actually driving those digital to analog converters. Uh, and you'll notice that at the location 129 in our lookup table from our microcontroller, we're writing a zero, uh, you know, probably in mistake. So lucky for us, we can go, you know, yell at the software team, tell them to, uh, you know, update their lookup tables, and, and we don't have to do a board spin. So um, it's, re it's really cool that we're able to have all these functionality in, in one device and on the same time scale, the same user interface, and we can do really cool things like yeah, correlate yeah. signals. So, yeah, so doing, doing real-time correlation of signals from, yep. uh, from different parts of the board. Yep. Okay, that's really, yep. okay. Absolutely. And um, what else did you add to it? Top of that. Is that it? Or uh, so yeah. So uh, like I said, we added some new trigger capabilities. Take carefully. We, we, we've typed one more. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we, we added some new trigger capabilities. Like okay. I said, we had, we're able to trigger on this signal. If I zoom back out, we're triggering on a pulse width trigger um, of of this, so we can yeah. keep a nice steady signal here. Um, we've added some, like I said, ARP from files, so we could take this this signal here and play that back out through our function generator. Okay. If right. We were to see, to see what happens. And we've got a whole list of other things in software. Because it's a software-defined instrument, we can continue to add value to this instrument you know, long after the purchase. So these updates come out periodically, and we're excited about some of the new stuff coming out next year. So, so I guess go to ni.com for more information, absolutely. I guess, Absolutely, right? ni.com slash virtual bench <laughs> if you want to check it out. So You got it. Yeah. Okay, thanks a lot, Jim. Appreciate absolutely. it. Okay, enjoy the show. <laughs>